Hey there, welcome to the Adobe Firefly tutorial. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of using the text to image option. Now you could start by typing something in and hitting generate, but I'm going to click generate right away and dive into text to image. As you scroll through, you'll come across amazing examples that are already created. The cool thing is you can hover over them to see the prompts that were used to generate these images. Now I could start by typing my own prompt, but for this demonstration, I'll choose a sample. Let's click on this one. Looking at the prompt they used, they were given this. Now you can see various options like model version, aspect ratio, photo to art, style strength, and more. You can even upload your own image to match the style. It's incredibly versatile. Let's experiment a bit. Instead of the dog, let's change it to a rat and see what happens. I'll generate and observe the transformation. It didn't take long at all, and the results are impressive. You can always refine it further based on your preferences. If you find an image you like, you can click on it to explore different options. If it's a favorite, you can heart it to save it. Now let's briefly touch on some additional options. You can download the image, copy the link, copy the image, or edit it in Adobe Express. You can start from scratch by typing in your own prompt. For example, I'll try girl dancing in a forest to see what comes up. It might not be perfect initially, but as you refine your prompts and explore different styles and effects, you'll start having fun with it. That wraps up the text to image feature in Firefly. If you're curious about the new generative fill effect, check out the video popping up on the screen. Happy creating.